Hello everybody, my name is Michael Lavin and I am the Technical Director here at the Norton Center. Um, as Jessica wrapped up, you are now on stage with me as the, as the performer sees the audience. Um, and we're going to take you through a lot of the places we have back here, upstairs, downstairs, behind locked doors. And we'll give you an insight into what it takes to make the magic that you see on stage come to life. Alright, so here we are actually underneath the organ pipes you, everybody sees all the way upstage. Down below us there is an air pump and it pumps up and this is the mechanism that allows all the wonderful music of the organ to be heard on stage. Over here we're stage right and you're looking at the counterweight rigging system that allows the line sets up above the stage to fly in and out. The easiest way to think about all this equipment is as an old school teeter-totter. Everything just goes back and forth except for the pin in the middle. We're using wires up on top. We've got 31 single purchase, three double purchase systems, and they're all connected via a system of wires and pulleys up above your heads. And that's what allows everything to fly in and out as directed by the show's needs. Every single show, uses this system because we hang the lights above the performers' heads, so they're allowed to be seen. All right, everybody, now we are actually underneath the seating area in the orchestra level of Newman Hall. Over here, if any of you guys like sitting really close to the stage in A and B, these are the seats that we bring out on top of this orchestra pit. So the orchestra pit is a giant elevator, two-piston elevator, that can come all the way down here to the first level. And we actually have air casters on the bottom of these platforms. We air it up, we're able to move it down into place, and then we bring the pit back up. And this is, gives you seats in row A and B. Obviously, if the pit is being used as a performance space or empty, we can infinitely adjust that to be wherever we need it to be. All right, now, believe it or not, I am standing about 10 feet below where we started this tour. Up down here is called the Trap Room. And in the original design of the Norton Center, the stage was designed to be cut up and manipulated as needed to allow anything from the stage to come down to this level or something from this level to rise up magically on the stage. Over time, that really hasn't happened. Technology has taken over some of the spectacle that theater used to have. Uh, so right now we use this room for storage. Um, in, again, in the original design, there's a men's chorus dressing room or orchestra dressing room and a women's orchestra dressing room down here that allowed them to go back and forth. These dressing room facilities really are not used very much anymore because of the dressing room facilities we have upstairs, which Molly Baker will be showing you next month. All right, everybody, we switched gears and we've gone from Newland Theater over here to Wizarder. Earlier in Newland, we talked about the counterweight rigging system and that's how we hang things over the stage to use. Here in Wizarder, we don't have the counterweight system. So instead we have this woven uh, aircraft cable grid uh, an Eisenhower grid that allows us to walk freely wherever we need to walk and using these pipes we're able to hang lights anywhere we want in any direction we want to take care of uh, lighting the action down on stage. We also use up here as storage for the lighting so we don't have to move things back and forth and in a little while we'll show you the booth that controls lighting and audio for the shows here in Wizard Group. We are up here in the Wizarder booth, which is at the back of the house, and the stage is to your left. Um, one of the positive things about coronavirus and the pandemic is we were able to take this time to renovate this entire booth. We took up 50-year-old carpet, we installed a countertop, painted everything black, we got some new sound equipment, and more importantly, everything up here now is laid out and we are set and ready for our first show to welcome everyone back into this theater. All right, so we've gone from the stage to the lowest level of the theater. Now we're among the highest levels of the theater. We're out here in the front of the house catwalk where all the lighting instruments light up the front of the performer's face happen. We also, this is our follow spot location. 
We have three follow spots and we can have operators up here. Typically a follow spot is going to be used in a musical or Broadway or a concert number. Uh, and this just allows an operator to follow the performer around and give them that little extra pop to separate them from everybody else around them. And the last stop on our tour today is in the Norton Center Scene Shop. Over here to my right is the stage, so this is the stage left area. Back here behind me, this roll-up door is the loading dock where the semis park for any of the larger shows that we have. This also winds up being an access point to the stage for touring shows. Um, over here to my left, through another set of doors, we could be back at Wizarder. So it really is fascinating how the entire building ties together um, and we can move from one area to another. All right, I hope everybody enjoyed this tour of the very rarely seen areas of the Norton Center. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out, ask. We would love to talk about this building in any way that we can.